Happy. Yeah, what's up, y'all? It's been a long time since I've done an IG story live. What's poppin'? I'm gonna wait for some people to join. Because it's, it's quite... It's quite peaceful right now. Welcome, one and all. This it's time for another story time right now. I hope y'all doing good. What's up, y'all? We ooh, we got Calvella awakening spells. Twelve, twelve, twelve. What's good? What's good? The disclaimer, as always, if you have like better things to do right now. I hope you know I'm completely going to waste your time. Like, I don't have time to bullshit. You see these people on live, on Instagram, doing little to nothing. You know those people who go live, you just see them come on live and they're just, they're just like... Like an old ass person that's just trying to figure out how to work technology. And it's like, they're not doing anything. I think for some reason they feel like them just being live is enough. And it works, because they answer questions, all that boring shit. I am going to do the same thing, okay? Don't think that I'm here to make fun of them. I am here to waste their time. It is what it is. I'm a Gemini at the end of the day. I have to live up to my name. But what's up, y'all? I This is so extra. I'm not even using these headphones. I just want to have them on because they're good accessories. But yes, I have a story to tell. Biggie had a story to tell. I'm not as gangster as Biggie. I didn't grow up in that era like Biggie. Compared to Biggie, I'm probably a bitch-ass nigga, but it's all good. I got a story to tell, too. And my story... See, Biggie's a Virgo moon, so his story actually really happened. I'm gonna just, I'm gonna just talk shit. This is my opportunity. So once again, like, if y'all have some like important things to do, you have like so much things. You, there's so many things you can do with your time right now. So I mean, you don't have to waste it listening to me. You really don't. You specifically really don't. I feel like I have to give you the, these these disclaimers because some of y'all be listening and it's like, what's the point? And you're you're listening to a Gemini. Why why would you ever listen to a Gemini and wait for a point? We don't. We are the point. It is what it is, though. Shout out to my Gemini moons in the building. You know what it is. Uh, shout out to Jody. Jody's a Gemini. What's good, fam? It's my neighbor Jody right here. You know, what up? Another Gemini. Tell me why. We were at the, the gas station and he bought two beers and I bought two beers. Okay. We like that's all we got at the station. Just Duh. two beer two of the same beers each. He a Gemini, I'm a Gemini. One for each twin. You already know what it is. Duh. It's got to make it all the way around, you know? One for each side. <laughs> one for each side, you exactly. you got to have the right one for each side. That's just the way it works. This is that dude. He be dropping gems just, like, at a moment's notice. So, y'all y'all, y'all get to know him in, Anyways, in whatever way. You know, Subnet51 on Instagram if y'all care. Anyways, stay for true and walk on your path, my friends. I got to go. W- what are you on Instagram? Subnet 51. Sub what? Net 51. Subnet 51. Uh-huh. I got you. Um, I appreciate you. Chill y'all. See y'all later. Peace out. Be safe. Word, word. Yeah, that, that stuff about the gas station was true, by the way. He, he got it before me, so I thought it was interesting. He got two beers. I got two beers. We didn't even plan that. But anyway, yeah. Um, I want to tell you a story about the Secret Wars. Okay. It goes back to the elements of the zodiac signs. You know what I'm saying? Um, I don't know if you guys know, but earth signs hate air signs. Well, duh. Earth signs hate water signs. So, you know, if you a Cancer, if you if you a Scorpio, if you a Pisces, and you have earth sign friends, I need to let you know that they hate you. Like, they hate you. You might be dating an earth sign. I hope you know they hate you. 
Like, Earth signs hate air signs, but we don't really care, so it's, it's a different type of hate. But Earth signs loathe water signs. Water, you guys are full of emotion, and Earth isn't trying to deal with all that. I'm sorry, but I'm not sorry. You, you may not be aware of that. See, Earth hates fire and air so much that since they can, like, tolerate you, water... Like, whenever, whenever Earth wants to complain about an Aries experience, everyone always has an Aries experience. Everyone's always, like, in the wrong place at the wrong time when Aries goes crazy. And it's an experience. They go to you, Water, because Water will listen to you. Water won't even know what you're talking about, but they'll listen. They're so receptive. That is the only reason. Why Earth tolerates you, Water. Just like Nicole Razy said, Earth hates everyone. For real. That's like literally the three signs of prejudice, stereotyping, and elitism. In, in order. So, I love Earth, but I, I need to break some stuff down. Because some of y'all have no idea how, how the politics really be. Regardless. We're going into secret wars because there's a whole new spiritual warfare popping off. And, and, you know, not everyone's a Libra. Not everyone's a Libra. Libra Libra and Capricorn know the politics. That's why they're so powerful. Libra, Libra, Capricorn, Aquarius, baby Leo, like, they know the politics of a situation. Pisces knows the politics. They don't give a fuck. They're like in their own zone. They're like, you look at you guys, all busy in politics. I'm out here making my own reality. So, one more disclaimer. You know what I'm saying? D Some of you might be in the position of thinking that I'm actually saying anything of substance right now. I'm literally just here to waste your time. This is I'm so good at what I'm. I'm good at doing this like amazingly, and you need to hear this story. Okay, as delusional as it sounds, it is the truth, kind of. So, I need to talk about secret wars because we're on the brink of a new phase of this spiritual warfare that goes back into ancient times. Okay, a, a, a commonly not known secret is that earth signs hate water so much. Okay, Cancer, Capricorn hates your ass. Capricorn hates you. The only reason why Capricorn tolerates you, Cancer, is because when Capricorn is bitching about everyone else, you're there for them. All right? Pisces is their best friend, and they can at least rip on people with Scorpio. But they hate you so much. All you do is just talk about your goddamn feelings, Cancer. I feel this. I feel that. You don't understand. If you weren't protected by the law, Capricorn would just kill your feelings. And then be like, what the fuck you feel now, motherfucker? Okay? Like, it's disgusting. You have to understand, you half of the shit you be talking about, Cancer, Capricorn is tuning you out. They're not even listening to you, and they loathe you for it. That you can just sit in your emotions and do fucking nothing, and then feel justified. Pisces, you have to understand, Virgo hates you so much. Virgo really hates you. The only reason why Virgo tolerates you is because Virgo hates Aries and Sagittarius more than you. So when Virgo needs to bitch about Sag and how wild they are, about how Sag tried to have sex with them, even though Virgo secretly wanted it, but they couldn't act like that, Pisces will be like, oh, girl, he tried to have sex with me too, but I let him. You know what I'm saying? Virgo hates you, Pisces. Because Pisces, you don't really be saying anything logical. And then you'll, like, turn around some, like, weird shit and make it make sense. And then it just drives Virgo crazy. Like, Virgo, Virgo will pick at your mind and clearly know that your reasoning makes no sense. But then you're still somehow right and they hate you. Like, it, it, it is what it is. Okay, Pisces, is all over the places you are. You're not even trying to make sense. And... 
I'm not gonna lie, some Pisces can just come out on the spot with some genius shit. You might have some Pisces that have Aquarius energy. Pisces are the ultimate trolls because Pisces will know the point you're trying to make and then supersede it just so that they can like say, fuck your point. We don't need a point. Like, that's Pisces, guys. Virgo is like, this is the point. And then Pisces will be like, well, we don't need a point. We're in an infinite space that is pointless. Like, what's the problem? And then Virgo's just like, ooh, why? Why are you my opposite sign? But you know what I'm saying? Regardless, you know what I mean? Virgo can forgive Pisces. And Capricorn can forgive Cancer, because the sex is just a maze balls. That's that's where it works. The sex. I don't know why sex is such a taboo subject, but it just helps. Right when Virgo is done with Pisces, Pisces will just sex them up in a way that's just like phenomenal, phenomenal. All right, screw this setup. I'm gonna do it this way. I'll tell you something, and this is the start of Secret Wars. The reason why Secret Wars is a thing, the two most stubborn ass zodiac signs ever in the zodiac, Scorpio and Taurus. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Taurus does not like Scorpio. Scorpio does not like Taurus. That is a bitter opposition, okay? That beef has gone on since the beginning of time. Okay, Scorpio was just across the room, and then Taurus was across the room, and they just looked at each other like... And it was on sight. It was on sight. Scorpio quickly went to Pi- I don't like the way Taurus is looking at me. Even though they both wanted to fuck each other, which is the weirdest thing. In fact, that's the only- Every time you see a Taurus and a Scorpio in a relationship together, I hope you know they don't like each other. It's the sex. It's only the sex. And because Taurus knows good food and Scorpio just knows how to move. Like, that's it. That's it. That's it. They are arguing like if they ever together, they're arguing all the time until they have sex. That's it. That is it. Okay? So I just need to establish first. You know what I mean? Earth, water signs. Earth don't like you. I'm so sorry. Like, if it wasn't for... The only reason why Earth likes you is because they hate fire signs. Like, Earth hates Aries. Earth hates... Like, Earth is going to take the time to put stuff together, and then Aries is just going to walk in the room like, yeah, time to burn all this shit up. Time to burn all this shit up. Virgo, you worked hard on that? You know I'm going to fuck it up, right? You know I'm going to fuck it up, right? Libra and Gemini just stay instigating. Like, like, how do you think, how do you think fire even knows what the fuck up? It's Libra and Gemini. They're just like, hey, look at what Earth built. I don't, you might want to check it out and see it. And then Sagittarius and Aries are just like, yeah, time to burn it, baby. Time to think about what fire burns. Earth. Like, fire cannot burn without Earth to burn. It's so fucked up. It's so fucked up. Just look at any relationship between an earth sign and a fire sign. The earth sign hates the fire sign so much, but the sex is so good. Like, think about an Aries and a Virgo that you see. Capricorn is constantly talking shit about Leo until they have sex, and then they suddenly forget. So I'm just going to leave you with that theme. Sex is some mysterious energy, okay? I know my Capricorn don't like me. I'm an Aries. Thank you. Thank you, Miss T. Earth does not like you, fire. But fire, you already know. You don't like Earth anyway. You think Earth slows you down. Air and Earth are mortal enemies, but we love each other never. So it is what it is, you know what I'm saying? Water and air have a love-hate thing, but it works because the sex is just fucking phenomenal. And everyone loves Sagittarius until they hate Sagittarius for like, oh, quick minute, and then they love them again. It's like on and off. So... Water, don't think you special. Don't think you special just because you opposite Earth. They hate you. They hate, they have to deal with feelings because of you. And the only reason why they tolerate you is because they hate fire and air more. I just, we just need to establish this. So secret wars, okay? The beef between Taurus and Scorpio was just too strong. Because Virgo can tolerate Pisces. Pisces has this magical way 
of trolling the fuck out of Virgo when Virgo thinks that it's right, Pisces would be like, well, you didn't know this, did you? And then so Virgo's like, how? How? And Virgo answers how, so it's just a mind fuck. <coughs> <coughs> Capricorn with Cancer, too. Capricorn gets so annoyed by Cancer because Cancer will just bring up emotional shit that Capricorn is just like, get over it! Just get over it. Just get over it. And then Cancer will just bring up some shit that doesn't matter to them. And Capricorn will be like, but just get over it, though. What? But you know what I'm saying? The sex is so good. Like, Capricorn be forgetting. But Scorpio and Taurus, it's on site. Scorpio and Taurus, it's on site. Okay, now they they might fuck with each other on the surface. No, no. Just like Black Star J Max said, this has nothing to do with my goals. I don't know how to use this information for my benefit. You are fucking wasting my time. I hate you. I hate you. Okay, and that's how it is. But with Taurus and Scorpio, it's on sight. And it became a problem. Because with the establishment of the four tribes there started to be a rift. You know what I'm saying? Like, you couldn't... Cancer couldn't chill with Virgo. In case you don't know, Virgo and Cancer are good friends. Virgo and Cancer are really good friends. Like, Earth hates water, but Virgo can get along really well with Scorpio, and Virgo can get along really well with Cancer. They just be beefing with Pisces. It's it, They just can't handle Pisces sometimes. All right? And this is important because, you know, Virgo couldn't hang out with Cancer. Because every time Virgo wants to hang out with Cancer, or Scorpio, every time Virgo wants to hang out with Scorpio, Taurus is just like, hey, nah, fam. Because they all Earth family, right? Nah, fam, I don't fuck with Scorpio. Fuck that motherfucker. Nah, we ain't going to that party, right? Every time Cancer wants to fuck with Virgo or 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 Taurus, because Cancer's good friends with Taurus too. They both can cook, so they be trading recipes. Scorpio's just like, hey nah, hey nah, we ain't fucking with Taurus. And it became a problem. First it was funny, and then it became a problem. Right? So Cancer and Virgo were like, yo, we need to do something about this. What do you what do you what are we gonna do, Cancer? Like they, we need to mend the problem around Taurus and Scorpio. We can't even really chill anymore because they making this a thing. They making this a thing. So they talked about it. You know what I'm saying? Cancer goes to Pisces and then Virgo goes to Capricorn. And Pisces is just throwing that game to Cancer. Pisces is like, you know what? We might have to get Sagittarius involved. And, and Capricorns really don't like nobody. Really. That's, that's some real shit. If you can get them rich, and if they can use you, they like you a little bit. But trust me. And what's up, Capricorn? Am I right or am I right? Am I right? If you want to piss a Capricorn off, just be useless. If a Capricorn cannot use you, you're, you're done. You're, you're, fucking, you're fucking lame to them. It's ugh. Okay, so Pisces is playing cancer on game. Pisces is just like, yo, we can get Sagittarius because Sagittarius can just merc Taurus. Just, just like that. Taurus is obsessed with Sagittarius. We might have to do some distraction games. We might have to escape from this. Meanwhile, Capricorn was talking to Virgo like, well, we can get, I can get Gemini to distract Scorpio. I can get Gemini to be the target of Scorpio's hate for a little bit. Cause we know, oh boy, Gemini knows how to piss Scorpio off. We will piss Scorpio off, we wouldn't even know that they're planning to kill us. We'll think it's just all cool. We'll be like, it was just a joke, homie. You know that song that Drake said where it's like, you think it's a joke, but it's not one. He wrote that shit about a Gemini. You already know. like. He was just not fucking playing. But it's all good. It's all good. So, Gemini and Sagittarius, by chance, it's always by chance with these magicians, by chance, 
meet together. Like, hey, what's up? I got a mission from Capricorn. And Sag is like, oh, word, I got a mission from Pisces. And then they fill each other in, and, and then they put two and two together. They're like, oh, inter, inter, inter family beef. I see what's up. And then, you know what I'm saying? Sagittarius mentions to Gemini. You know, if it really came down to it, you, the Fire Clan would completely destroy the Air Clan. And Gemini was like, ha ha, that's hilarious. I mean, you're amazing, Sagittarius, but we have an Aquarius. There's no way you would win. And for like a split second, we got serious like, nah, son. But we're mutable signs. We laughed. They're like, ha ha, it don't matter. And we went on to do our shit. You know what I'm saying? Fast forward to Scorpio. And Taurus, okay? Who's next to Taurus? Aries. Who's next to Scorpio? Libra. So you have Taurus over here talking to Aries, trying to get Aries on Taurus's side. Like, yo, you don't need Scorpio. You don't need Libra. Okay, don't you think Libra's annoying? Libra thinks it knows everything. Libra thinks they so classy. Libra thinks when they walk into a room, they're like, they're like a wannabe Leo. They don't want to have the attention hungriness of Leo, but they low-key still want that attention anyway. And Aries is always looking for smoke. So I guess Taurus thought that Aries really cared. Aries is trying to fight anyone. Aries is like, yeah, fuck that bitch-ass nigga, Libra. I mean, Libra could get them hands. Libra thinks they so intelligent. They try and outsmart me. Libra don't want these hands, though. But it is what it is, okay? Meanwhile, Scorpio is over there like, yeah, what you think about Aries, Libra? I don't know. Oh, no. Aries, Aries thinks they can do everything. Meanwhile, in Libra's head, Libra's like, oh, Scorpio's trying to finesse me against Aries, but I'm just going to act like it's working because I want to see where this is going. So Libra's just like, yeah, Aries is quite the brute. Aries is quite the baby brute. They, they need the right guidance, but it is what it is. Little did, Scor little did Libra know Scorpio was going to tell Aries that spark off the beginning of secret wars as we know it okay so let me tell you how manipulative earth and water is capricorn caught wind that water was trying to recruit fire because what is earth weak to fire so if so if water can get fire to go against earth we could just burn them motherfuckers up it's that simple but capricorn ain't no dummy Capricorn was like, we need to mobilize the air because we can manipulate air signs to go against fire to protect us. This is what started to make it a beef because Capricorn and Scorpio are good friends. Virgo and Cancer are good friends. So they came together. They were like, yo, we need to do something. We need to do something because if we don't, you know what I'm saying? There's going to be a straight up war. And we're not going to be able to handle this. We need to somehow stop the beef. And then Cancer's like, well, to be fair, I can see why Taurus and Scorpio are, are beefing. Because Cancer is like a master at holding grudges. So Capricorn instantly called Cancer out like, but we need to let this go. Okay? Pisces over here trying to get... Sagittarius to Merc Taurus. And if we lose Taurus, we lose the stability. And then Pisces was like, well, hey, just to be fair, I, you were trying to get Gemini to distract Scorpio. I seen that. I just know that. I'm Pisces. I just pick up. I had a dream about it. And there was a huge argument. And they somehow finessed the air and fire to fight each other. Okay. Mind you, simultaneous. Did you notice Leo? I have not mentioned Leo and Aquarius at all. That's because Leo and Aquarius are doing their own goddamn thing. Okay. At some point, Aquarius went to Leo and was just like, Hey, you know I'm better than you, right? You think you're the shit, and I love you, except I don't. And we're better than you. I think you need to know this. And Leo, 
literally started busting out laughing. Like, <laughs> Leo doesn't do like a, <laughs> Leo does like a, <laughs> Leo does one of those like with the holding uh, holding laughs like <laughs> and it is what it is. Aquarius was just like, I don't have to prove this to you. Like I just know this. I just had to let you know because you feeling yourself a little too much. You're lucky we don't have a competition. But then Aries came through and was like, hey, yo, Libra, I heard you was talking shit. I heard you was talking shit, Libra. I heard Scorpio told me that you said I'm a little brute and I need to grow up. What's up? And Libra was like, oh, is that so? Because Taurus told me that you said I ain't got hands. And I ain't gonna fight you right now because I got better shit to do. You don't want these hands, but it's all good. Yes, like Diablo said, Libra be talking shit when they're hiding behind like their friends. Like when Libra has their entourage, they be talking shit. Aries can go solo. <laughs> Libra's gonna get Scorpio to be like, hey, let's jump Aries. But yo, check this out, my friend. And all the most gangster Libras that I've seen have Aries moons. So that's why they'll go, oh, what I want. It's the Aries. But yes. <clears throat> the stage has been set. The stage has been set. Air and fire now have a competition. Libra set it up. Air and fire was like, we're going to just have to have an official competition. All right. So the plan for earth and, and water to finesse fire and air to fight each other this story is so convoluted just set itself up okay cardi b is a libra sun aries moon i fucking love cardi b she's like revolutionizing how ratchet a celebrity can be and get away with it it's just other people don't realize if you're not cardi b it's not gonna work because cardi's a libra like she could finesse that so goldenly but it is what it is and at the end of the day you know what I'm saying? <sighs> war began. Secret wars. Okay? And there was a singing competition. The, the See, it wasn't like a, a traditional fight, right? It wasn't just like a war fight. It was, it was a gaming thing. Sagittarius and Gemini helped make it a game. There was a dancing competition. There was a singing competition. There was a sports competition. Okay? Um, and I'm going to just end the story here. This is the end of part one. Okay? I'm going to string y'all along. This is literally just part one. I just wanted to set up the conflict. This I want you to know that the root cause of all this subtle war is because of Taurus and Scorpio. Because Taurus and Scorpio have taken forever to settle their beef. The only other two oppositions that have not settled their beef is Sagittarius and Gemini. Not even because they're mad at each other, but because they're just procrastinating the shit. They're just like, we'll put it off till later. I, we have problems, but we'll put it off till later. A hundred years later, we'll put it off till later. A million years later, yeah, we'll get it. We'll, we'll get to it eventually. And that's the dynamic. Scorpio and Taurus are on the brink of handling their beef. And because those two zodiac signs are so strong, they have caused secret wars to burn out. So I bet you want to know, who won the conflict? Will the fire signs beat the air signs? Will Scorpio and Taurus settle their conflict? Never. Will there actually finally be peace? Find out next time on Astrology Ball Z. <laughs> I'm so serious. Gemini and Sagittarius are never going to... Like, now we probably might be able to, but we just gonna put it off. Scorpio and Taurus are about to settle their beef, and someone's gonna die. You know how it is with Scorpio. Someone's gonna die. 
And Taurus a gangster too. Taurus don't just take that. They both strategic as hell. So I just need to let you know, Jupiter's in Sagittarius right now, and there's another air fire battle. Okay, we air air and fire. What I just referenced was the first air fire battle that air just threw the match at the end of the day. Oops, I just ruined the surprise. But there's another air fire battle. Fire signs. Leo was like, remember the time that water and earth finessed each other to fight each other and we beat you? And then Aquarius is like, brother, we let y'all win. And then Aries, like, Aries got mad as fuck. Aries was like, oh, fuck no. I know you ain't gonna cop out now. Aries and Aquarius are cool, except when they're not cool. It's really weird. And Aries is like, hell no. Nah. Hell no, nah, you don't give me that. You just held back shit. And Libra is like, yeah, it's kind of true, Aries. I held back for you, too. Like, And Aries is like, no, 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 no. We need to run that back. You know when someone loses a game of 2K and they're like, you need to run that back. You, we need to run that back. So if you see a lot of air signs getting with fire signs, it, it, it on the surface might look like we're all friends, but it really is just everything you can do, I can do better. Anything you can do, I can blah, blah. So that's really it. Like, fire signs, I love you, but you're not touching air signs. You are not touching air signs. And let me break this down. Because, like, if you look at oppositions, it just so happens that Gemini is the only sign that loses. If we're going out of two out of three, right? If it's Aries versus Libra, Aries, I'm sorry. Libra got you. Like, like Libra ain't see you with these hands, but what's up? Okay, if it's Gemini versus Sagittarius, we gonna have to give it to Sag. Okay, Gemini, Gemini is crafty, but Sagittarius can do everything. It is what it is. If we go give it, this is controversial. If we go give it to Leo or Aquarius... I'm sorry, Leo. Aquarius got you. Okay, this is debatable. So, I'm sorry. That's two. That's two out of three. That's two out of three. In fact, Sag. In fact, Sag. Gemini can see you too. You don't even know that. We got surprises. Okay. Morgan said Libra over Aries. Are you crazy? That's a real. That's legit. That's legit. Okay. Okay. That's legit. A Pisces goddess just said Aquarius will merc Leo. It is what it is. Fire, I love y'all. I fucking love y'all. I gotta deal with these water signs that I'm not trying to catch feelings for. What is up with you water signs? Water signs are on a mission. Y'all don't even understand. Y'all keep playing with these water signs. Water signs are just trying to have you catch feelings. And then behind closed doors would be like, ha ha ha, I gave him the feels. I gave them the feels. <laughs> you don't understand. When water signs are behind closed doors, they just take their true mask off and they're like, ha, 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 I just gave them the feels. Ha, 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 ha. They don't know how to process emotions like me. And you guys, you water signs are evil because you can feel when other people are feeling. You guys don't know that about water signs. When water signs feel... When, when other people feel, water signs can feel what you're feeling. So there's no such thing as privacy because a Pisces will just read your mind. A Scorpio will literally just read your diary and then, and then not even give a fuck. But read their diary, you're dead. Like, as if that's fair. Yo, water signs are just trying to have you catch feelings. Earth signs are literally just trying to control you. Honestly, I'm going to have to do a series where I just spill the beans because water signs want you to catch feels. Water signs don't give a fuck, too. If they can, in their heads, make you believe, make them believe what they want to believe, a water sign will just be like, oh, they're depressed. I just know it. Even though an air sign don't care. It's just like, oh, they're just suppressing their feelings. And and you don't understand. We air signs don't have feel Like... Can I ask you guys a question? Stop telling air signs to get out our heads. Stop, like, like, honestly, it's fair because we tell water signs to get out their feelings, which is just mercilessly insensitive. You need to stop telling air signs to get out our heads. It is the most insulting thing ever. It's like telling a bird, stop flying. 
Stop Why are you flying, bird? Why the fuck are you flying? Do you know how dumb I feel when y'all be telling me, get out my head like I'm not a fucking Gemini? Like, I, like thinking constantly isn't the only thing I can do? It's literally like telling a bird, why the fuck are you flying? Go into the ocean. You don't see, you don't see us telling fish to fly. You don't. You don't. I don't know about this day and age. You don't see us telling fish to fly because we can fly above and we can just see. It's unfair. Earth signs are trying to manipulate the shit out of you. If an earth sign cannot use you, you're useless. And it's just period. Taurus is like, what can I get from this person? Capricorn is literally like, well, how useful is this person? And Virgo is like, get out of my face, you basic mongrel. I still love you, Virgo. It is what it is. I'm going to stop wasting your time. I'm going to come back with better stories. I wanted to freestyle something. But Earth Moon is harder than Air Moon. Um, Y'all are definitely free to let me know what you want to hear me talk about. I'm really just trying to come up with this special where I roast the signs. Fire. I got you, fire. Fire is literally trying to burn everything. And that's what people don't get about fire. I literally called out an Aries for trying to throw a party just so that they can secretly give everyone in the party mushrooms. And I was like, y'all are fucking crazy. Like, trust, trust me, like... Y'all don't understand, fire signs are fucking crazy. Aries is crazy. Sagittarius is crazy. Leo is like a controlled crazy. It's like a bonfire. You could at least kind of like let it burn forever. But you, you don't watch that motherfucker. They're crazy too. Okay? They're trying to burn everything. Because that's what they are. Like, when have you ever seen a fire not burn something? And that's why it's like, why do you guys get mad at fire? Why do you guys get mad at fire for being fire? It's like, if you put paper in a fucking fire, it's going to burn it. So why do you guys get mad when Aries goes crazy and burns shit? It's, it doesn't, like, this. these are the ways that people drive each other crazy, and it's only as if they knew. And, and listen, if you ask fire, they don't think they're crazy. Hold on. It's air that, like, fire doesn't think they're crazy. And Aries can literally beat the shit out of five different people and then whack off in public and be like, what's, why is everyone mad? What the hell? Like, I I only beat the shit out of this person in front of their mom and child. Like, what's... You guys are overreacting. Like, fire does not think they're crazy. Is a fire burning supposed to think that it's bad? Right? Aries and Scorpio sex, I think, is one of the best sex, too. They kill each other in the act. So, fire will gaslight the shit out of you? Oh, my gosh. That's coming from a fire sign. I thought gaslighting was air, but... I don't know. That's a good question. So yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna end this here. Um, I love fire because they can they can do anything in public, sex included. If I wanted to have a quickie, it would totally be with the air or a fire sign. Um, water and earth, you cool too. It's just I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Like, there's always an ulterior motive with fire. There's, there's always an ulterior motive with Earth and water. Like I said, Earth is trying to control everything. So if they know you can put money in their pockets or some type of value, it's a wrap. And, and I, I at least fuck with Virgo because they'll tell you. Capricorn, and, Capricorn will tell you, like, if you can't be used well, then you're just useless. I'm, I got to go make some more uh, moves. Because I just have to do so I feel better about myself. But, yeah, I'm going to come back more equipped with better stories. I apologize if I bored any of you. But I really was just, that's, I was really just here to waste your time. Hence the disclaimer. Um, y'all stay blessed. Stay tuned na- next time for Astrology Ball Z. When we go into the results of the first air and fire sign competition. If you want to see a laugh, 
really just pit an air sign against a fire sign because air and fire are good friends but air and fire is that dynamic where like the air sign thinks they're better than the fire sign and the fire sign thinks they're better than the air sign always always if you ask them about it they'll be like no we're totally equal but in in libra's head they're like i'm so much more sophisticated than aries yeah they might be more passionate aries is like i'm so much more powerful than libra like they're just not seeing me like they constantly think they're better than each other it is the funniest shit ever because they're gonna be fake to each other and act like they're equal. <laughs> it's easy for Gemini because Gemini is like the baby sign. So you feel me, oh easy? You feel me? It's kind of that way with water and earth too, but they just don't talk about it. You know what I'm saying? They're just smart. Fire to air. You know what I'm saying? Fire signs think we just have the mental energy. Hey, fire, you don't want it with air. You don't want it with air. I'm just saying. Uh, behind closed doors. Because if there was a fire sign ready to fight, I'd be like, hey, uh, uh, I need help. <laughs> yeah, I ain't trying to fight no fire signs. I'm sorry. Y'all are, y'all are savage. I'm good. I'm, I'll talk shit all day though, but I'm good. Y'all can keep, y'all can keep that gladiator status. We straight. <laughs> I am not trying to get my ass whooped by a fire sign. Cause we, the moment we start talking that shit, and it's like, and then that's when you see me start being like, "Hey, peace. We just need peace." We just need peace. We don't e- we don't even need to do all that. We don't even need to do all that. You know what I'm saying? What the fuck? Why y'all why y'all so bad all the time? So it is what it is. Um be careful. Be careful about these water signs though. I'm gonna close with something real quick. Be careful about these water signs, cause they they're not playing anymore. Water signs are just super psychic now. They were already super psychic. If they want you, they gonna have you. They will play the long game. See, water signs weren't willing to play the long game, but Saturn's and Capricorn, they play in the long game now. They are going to play the long game. A water sign will be your friend and just play chill. And before you know it, you start catching feelings for them. And that's scary. Earth signs been playing the long game, but they don't have time to waste anymore. They know they they know they on a ticking clock, so it is what it is. I'm gonna definitely be more consistent with these. I hope I, I want to do at least a live at least every other day. So y'all stay blessed. You know what it is. Peace. Woo. Word.